Good morning. Rather you take bow with the wife, one wife. Ah. That's his sister. 
easier to do. <laughs> and that he says that you know your hormones, you're not yeah. breaking the bond. Yeah, I see. He has, I definitely. He's I very definitely, practical man. He is uh, better than me, I say. Oh, uh, really? More than I see. Uh. He, he, and I think he thinks that his wife is his uh, power, his guru, or whatever. Wow. I mean, he's really nice. Wow. Well, we have to meet him and her. <laughs> Both here. Yeah. This yeah. is general, this line from them. From them? Yeah. Oh. She was cooking probably all day. She was cooking. Wow. With the, the oh, it's wonderful food. Oh, what a treat. Welcome to Martam Gumba, and I'm happy all of you are here. And now this uh, video tape will be some kind of documentary. The post opening this uh, uh, monastery. So, you uh, Western student who come first time here, or sometime, some of you have come many times even. You may have questioned what reason I have built this monastery, why it must, must be here, and if you have any questions, I am glad to answer you. So please, uh, you have questions, raise your hand, so we'll discuss. Yes. Lama, will there be any specific practices emphasized at this stone farm? Yes. There's in generally dharma, there's nothing specific emphasized. All dharma is dharma. There's nothing, you know, not one dharma is better than other. But here, for simple and easy for the local people, so there's emphasizing nyungne practice every full moon day and new moon day. That means every month, two times nyungne, two practice nyungne. And every the Tibetan calendar, 10 day, and the Gana Chakra offering, Chakra Sambara or Guru Rambuchi, and every Tibetan uh, calendar, 25th, Bajra Yogini Gana Chakra offerings. And that is uh, very simple for the local lamas and local people. And that's my wishes to uh, accommodate that in future. Usually, Lama, you have an emphasis on Mahakala practice. Mm -hmm. Will that be here also? And that is uh, one that we are ready to bring uh, resident Lama and uh, the Pew Monk. Then I think it's daily evening Mahakala Puja also. That's daily. But then local people uh, may not able to practice Mahakala, most of them, they have no initiations and they are not training very well for practice of Mahakala. So we will not emphasize for the in public practice, but if there is one Lama can live here, then they will do daily Mahakala Puja. Will Westerners be able to stay here for short retreats? Or? I very much I like that because you American people who has very intelligent, very educated <coughs> people are interested in Buddhism. So that is uh, very important. You to come practice here and then these people are not really educated in this village. Very few people who has educated. And who has educated people are not helpful sometimes because they try to advance to the someone who's not educated. So it is uh, there is nothing so much strong dharma going on here. And uh, so you Western people come here and practice, it may increase them that that their religion and their culture they deny until this point. If you practice, they will think. These people are not accept Buddhists unless there is some reasonable. So therefore, 
they may think this is very important to practice that. So therefore I like to them to practice here and involve this monastery, whoever comes. But I think that will be uh, from the United States, I have to write a letter to here who are coming here and I ask them to come and they will do that. Because otherwise many people are, even American people, many people are have the re- many people are looking for dharma study and practice and many people are also looking for trouble too so therefore i cannot ask any western people come let come in and stay here so i need to emphasize them someone whoever coming so i have to write a letter to my family and whoever lama here uh-huh. so according to my letter they will be accommodated for western people who come in Besides money, they wanted to donate goods for, to the monastery. What would be the primary needs for monastery blankets or something <coughs> like this? Now there is a monastery is already standing up here, as you see, but inside it doesn't have too much thing in it. Uh, carpet and blanket, anything you want to, they I mean be useful, especially. This consecration, and not less than 30 monks will come here. Then they help to sleep in here. Actually, there are nothing so much uh, had, uh, you know, things for them. But uh, we uh, gathering, uh, borrowing from big hotel some. But it is, uh, if you donate it, we, they can keep it here uh, to make, a, uh, you know, monastery can leave it there. Then people who ever come, they can use it. <laughs> is the Nune practice that they'll do, whether you'd like them to do uh, bi monthly, is it any different than the way you follow? Well, Nune is uh, that normally Buddhist Nune, we Tibet had Pali school like Giluk, Nyingma, Kaju, Saja, all have the Nune practice same. There's nothing different practice. And eight percent bow must be keep it. And sadhana, there is short sadhana, long sadhana, different sadhana. And uh, so that's depending. The local people here going to be nyungne, and they will not able to read it, English or Tibetan. So only they will be recite mantra or manipani home, and monks, lamas will be perform the sadhana. So there is no consideration of the long sadhana or short sadhana for them. They keep the bow and recite mantra. When lamas stop, they will stop. When lamas start to puja, they will start to recite mantra. Sit, sit there, keep the bow. That's the way they uh, do the local people. And what about the text the monks follow? Will it be like a longer version than we do, or the same uh, medium? Lazy monk, a lazy lama like me, they will have short sadhana. <laughs> but someone very diligent lama, they have long sadhana. So depending the lama, it is. <laughs> so you find you get it uh, dilig- diligent lama, then you get long sadhana. Lazy like me, you have to repeat a short sadhana. <laughs> you accept, not accept. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, and I was uh, born in this very place. Uh, I grew up that very place here, and then, so up to uh, 13, I completely gone from home, stay in monastery, and uh, when I was 18, I left this country. I didn't come back until recently, because maybe 70 years I may coming home. I from here I'm going to Bhutan, staying three retreat. When I was uh, uh, twenty, I come out my retreat. Then I came to Darjeeling Sonada, and then from there I came to Rimtek, visit. But I didn't visit here. 
I visit very beautifully because my my father was alive then. I not stay and go to Rumtek and then, then after that I, they sent me to India, Dharamsala, Himalaya Pradesh, near Gurumbhusha's cave and lake. I was uh, in the cave leading some yogi, I practiced six yoga of Naropa. And then uh, when the retreat over, then I come back to Sananda. Then Sananda I was seven years uh, leading uh, puja there. And after that uh, seven years, I uh, lots of Western people who came to see my guru, and they asked to my guru that they want me to come to Wast. And then. Yeah, uh, you say that there's a monastery in Tibet that you have. Yeah. Um, which lamas are taking care of that and watching over the monks? There is another lama called Lama. Yama Ongji, he charged right now. And which part of Tibet is? Eastern Tibet, Eastern Tibet, water to China. Go to Chengdu, take bus, in three days you get there. Have you ever, like, uh, when did you start building it? It's like 86 I started. And were you there? I was um, there. First start, I was there. In middle, I was there. Ending, I did not able to go because Chinese doesn't allow me to go there. No, thirty monks coming for this case, this case, this case. This this occasion. This occasion. Two, two, if more, three, two must. But I think I have to talk to the different monastery. I talked to the Sananda already, but they are not on to sending young monks because they are monks, not to be staying like in a group of village people here. And older monk, uh, they need attendant. So I need two or three. It must be two because the only Lama come, and Lama I need to attend him, you know, cooking, helping, something. So he'll stay and lead the puja and the local people. Then every year, every special time, different monastery come here doing special puja. Next year, Kalurim Muchi will come with the Bokarim Muchi to do his ceremony. Gyal Sabra Muchi coming this year. Will Karmapa ever get out of Tibet? He's holding his Karmapa. If he get out, get out from the Tibet, he may come, but you know, he come with a lot of God and it's difficult. But he may, by staying longer, if he go, evening walk and I can bring him here secretly but you know it not easily come over to bring here. Oh, could you tell us about your father? My father is a layman, you know he's a lay practitioner. He was very uh, very wonderful man, and uh, most time he go buying the orange and sell, and that's where he make money. And that time money is not so much used because everything come out from our own land. Besides buying salt, no worry to the other things. So he saved the money. He buying lots of land at the time. So therefore, we have plenty land. We have lots of land. 
But my brother, they don't enough. Still, they want to more. So that's normal. If they have no complaint, you know, people never satisfy. That's the human mm-hmm. problem: is dissatisfaction. You know. So <clears throat> he's a very, very truthful, honest person. My brother adopted his mind. Mm-hmm. Actually, my older brother. He's very angry person at the same time. He, every, he, he immediately he, he talking here, look like fighting there, and he's so loud. And then anything not happen, he will be erupted. You know, immediately, bit of right there. And uh, I was to be look like no one will get along with him, but village worship him actually. Any problem come to him, ask what to do now. And he will say, oh, you're wrong, you're right. They will accept it. And all the village is very, you know, you know, look up to him because he's an example. But he's, one thing is very honest, village knows. He will never take side. If something right, even his own son, he will say, you're wrong. This is not good. He will be mad him. And anyone, he's the enemy even, he will tell, you're right. You know. mm-hmm. If something wrong, he will be not accepted. I saw he beating servant, my eye. Our own servant. We have servant used to be. You know, we have, you know, completely well off our family until my father died. So, you know, I mean, they love him, even he beat up. And they're afraid and they love him. It's very funny. And he will be, he drink all night. He chant, you know, bamboo. Then he will be sleeping one o'clock, three o'clock he wake up. Then he will chant loud, very loud. And our family, we sleep, you know, father sleep there, mother sleep there, we all around sleep. One, and he has a big, you know, big stick, he'll hit our head, he'll say, get out, your, your head is rotting there now. And he sleep so long, get out. And he beat up us you know, with a long stick, and you know, we cannot stay there, and we have to get out. So he's very... And he prayed. He doesn't read and write, but by heart, he memorized himself. And he practiced uh, very good with that way. And uh, morning six o'clock, he will be go around. Maybe by six thirty-seven, he'll come back with tea. But before that, he will go around everything. He's doing everything: walk around, look around, shouting and talking and you know, all these things. Come back, he eat. He'll never stay in one place. He's just always doing something. Always. So he's very kind that way, and uh, we all afraid him. We see him, we'll be hiding. He'll be in a sc- no reason, he just scream, yelling at us. And when mother died, I thought, that's it, I have no one like me. Now father doesn't like me. When mother died, then he really show us really love. He really loves. And then he, he show Really, his gentleness. He thinks we're getting all love from mother. We he need to discipline us. That's I think he did. When when I was young, they're all in Rumtek Monastery. I was there. I have you know somebody cook for me, somebody cleaning me, eating, and I always with one teacher. I reading, writing, always study, and they pay that my family. Most. But then I escape. Any time I can, I will escape away from monastery. Many times I escaped one day and uh, they catch me and bring to home and he was there. He has a big long knife putting in his table. He was there very wrathfully. And then he was so sit down and I sit down and he says, well, this is the last day for you. I'm going to kill you now because uh, I have right to kill you because you're my son. You know that. So I ho- asked one question, that's all answer me. That's only take care of you now. So you're escaping all the time. I cannot able to take you anymore. You you want to stay in monastery or you want me to kill you now? So I told, of course, I want to go to monastery. <laughs> <laughs> That's very scary. He's, he's knife there. He's ready for it. And then after that, I didn't escape at all. <laughs> I think of his knife, I thought, well, that will not do it. <laughs> Always I try to come out, I think, oh, no, his knife is very sharp. <laughs> so, 
And then after all, I stay in monastery and I educate a bit, a little bit. And my mother died, and I feel very sad. You know, my mother. I love my mother. He died. I think there's no one there. So my good brother will not take care of me. All the brother is young. So I lost that way. And then I come home, and my father was very gentle. I was afraid to go him, go to him. And one day I was scared. You know, he come here. I'll go around and try to go. One day he grabbed me. You know, I'm your father. You know, you don't worry. I love you. You know, and I'll take care of you. And he was telling that I'm the mom. I'm the daddy. You know, I'll give all love. I give. You know, your mom give you. I'll give you. So I was crying. He was crying. Oh, it was very bad. You know. So I feel <coughs> he was a really a wonderful man because he has so much skillful. Even I don't know. And it used to be he's wrathful. He's not really wrathful. He also try to make me to be good person. You know, want to be my life to be not miserable. So after all, he <coughs> take me. You know, anything I need, you know. So I was very touched by my father. You know, he skillful me. Still, I feel very thankful him because without him, if I three four times came, monastery would refuse me to have them. But through his kindness, he'll pay them. Every time escape, he have to hold his spot, hold mong, once and hold food, breakfast, to all dinner to keep me. So last he thought that nothing can work now with a knife. That knife was for me is a wisdom saw, cut my all destruction. It was very wonderful. So I really think he's a very wonderful man. So that's uh, my father's story. Whoever cost him bad actually. So that's my father. Yeah. Yes. Lama, who will consecrate this monastery, and what happens? What does it mean that a monastery at home is consecrated? Well, consecration by the monks, and especially consecration by the, his eminent Gelsa Brambuchi who is our head of the, our Kajuba. And uh, the, that's he, they, he is the one who will going to do. But consecration means that, you know, this ha monastery, this monastery means place where dueling, date is dueling. So now we have mandalas, house, and we have to invite wisdom deities to dissolve into the mandala, and then this monastery become not a ordinary house, it become mandala. Whoever entering is sitting, they have connection of the deities' blessings, and become a not ordinary house. Ordinary people look them ordinary house, but especially special people can see this is kind of kind of in a cluster palace, mandala of the deities. So <clears throat> that's the consecration, then they will be invoked, the wisdom deity in dissolve and consecrate this house as the mandala. That's the simple idea. But they are more complicated. My grandfather is, I know he was great lamas, my father was telling us. I didn't know how he great until recently. Last year I came here, and the local, all the yogi and monks came to me. There's some monastery, small monastery upstairs in the hill. And uh, that monastery was my grandfather built it. He was the most venerable Lama in this area. And uh, his name was the Lama Ongden, Yogi Ongden. They called Samba Ongden. Samba means yogi who live all the time isolated. And uh, he was a uh, very high Lama here. So he was built that monastery. Last year they gave it to me, that monastery. 
and then when they gave me the writing letter was there and they give me the letter everything so all the village lay people of <coughs> yogi and all come together they presented me and i see my grandfather name there and he what, who he is and everything he was the yogi very highly respected the yogi and after he dying then one of the, his son supposed to be take his footstep i think so all the son he took it him as he said successor you know footstep but he and uh, dying early age he did not do too much i heard him also i heard from other lamas of his name and then, then after that you know supposed to be our family have to be one have to be lama one one son have to be lama i didn't know that and then later i born first my brother born they want to be keep home to take care of home and i born my mother my father decided to meet about monastery and monastery also that time looking for the monk and because they have some kind of from the tibet says that whoever whatever monastery have more number of monk they will support so the local monastery you want to have more name to show them so just i born they call me i'm boy they can say oh, this is your my our monastery but there are monastery over there a monastery all over they are afraid to take over other monastery but other monastery did come they didn't give it and my mother gave it to them and they want to have it so i was just born they signed my name and to belong to monastery so you know so then i became a uh, monastery practicing and i finally eventually i became monk you know i was uh, 18 to 28 i was monk and uh, i didn't know said that my family have such carrying on the last year the documentary they show off i duplicated and take it with me i want to a very interesting actually yeah. yeah and i didn't know no one told me and last year that all the village they want to have money i think they want to give me and then and they think i will be built that monastery but i already start here i told it too late so anyway i said i'll take the documentary so i duplicated the documentary and give back the original one i said i can help a little bit here there but i cannot help it because i have already started too late so in that time i figure out my grandfather and our family have to be one lamas and my grandfather and then another one was a young man but he died young and he was lama too he has uh, not so much he doesn't have popular as my grandfather and after he died then few year i born and they dedicate me to be put on that position okay worker want to work maybe we stop and go around now thank you very much your question <laughs> This is a, the gate to the wedding. Sorry, but... What are your question? What, what is this? What is this for? The car is... Get. This is kind of get. Gate for a wedding. Gate, gate for a wedding. Why is it uh, covered in forest? The shoe brushing the car is in Java. Fine. Fine. Fine tree, they say. So why did they cover it? Pick the 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 basic kind of cover is. The basic kind of kind of cover is. So they don't know. The tradition. Yeah. Uh, so Sikkimese tradition. <coughs> I don't think so this is Sikkimese tradition because this is not come from Indian tradition. Oh, I see. Get zoya ke lok se khane sarva. Ta tinjo ki. Tinjo lok se. He, he says that from Sikkim uh, king, royal family, when he came to the different place visiting, 
and they make welcome by doing this. <laughs> Stars. Hello. <laughs> 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 Hey, so now. Can you sing for? Chicken cone in India. <laughs> the same. 
Is this gonna have audio too? Yeah. yeah okay. As usual. In bed. Oh, no. As usual. <laughs> In the usual. I'm sick. Yeah, get on me. You're sick? Not sick. Really sick. Men. They're sick. Yeah. See, this is my house. Oh, this is my house. Hello. <laughs> Did you guys make up? I told him I was sorry. Okay, good. Is that okay? Well, did you build Dung Dung Lee? Oh. I didn't do the minus that. You did? You did? You did? You did? You did? You did? You Thank you. 